All right, so what's up with my beautiful, lovely faces on the internet? It's your boy, M. League on the Films, a.k.a. the Multi-Talent King, a.k.a. the Hobby Collector, a.k.a. the Universal Gamer, too. I'm here to give you guys a channel update. I think my last one was inside January or February of this year, but, you know, i just been juggling a lot and stuff, just, be, just to be honest with you, and then waiting for my Blackmagic Cinema Camera uh, 4K in before I start really doing more, like, creative-type videos and stuff like that. Um, I sold my Canon C100 Mark II. Uh, I don't think I even told my folks on YouTube, but I did announce it on Instagram and, you know, Facebook and stuff like that for the people I work with personally and things of that nature. But I will be getting a Blackmagic Cinema camera and the main thing I'm going to miss from, from the uh, C100 and I know, man, I'm, I'm just going to have to get another C100 on top of another 4K camera because, like, just the built-in indie filters alone, like... This, that alone is a big seller, just the flip of your finger to, you know, adjust your ND filter levels and stuff like that. In bright sunlight, you can, you know, have the options to go at any f-stop, aka depth of field that you want. You're like, that's what I'm going to miss about the C100 Mark II and just, you know, those camera, those cinema cameras in, in general, you know, those built-in ND filters is a big, big seller on those cameras, like for real, for real. Because now when I think about it, when I go out and film, even though the Blackmagic Cinema camera has high dynamic range, but when I go out and film and I want to get to an f-stop of like 2.8 and have a shallow depth of field, I'm going to have to screw on ND filters and or have a matte box, expensive matte box that has like, you know, pullable ND filters. Got to make sure those stay dust free and stuff like that and no debris is on it it's like all kind of extra stuff you got to deal with but when you got the canon cinema cam uh, cinema camera just simply roll the real well up and stuff like that or if you got the c300 or c you know the other cameras you just press a little button and stuff and then the indie filter three different levels of indie filters pop right up for you so that is a big 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 seller and that was the number one thing not the number one thing but one of the, one of the number one things that actually sold sold me on buying and investing inside spending about at the time i spent about three thousand three thirty six hundred dollars or thirty four somewhere around there a hundred dollars for canon c100 mark ii when i first got it about i think it was like four years ago through four and a half years ago or three and a half years ago and with that money i could have got a 4k camera and stuff like that but the way canon video looks on their cameras even if it is a 1080p camera then on top of that like the built-in indie filters that is a big ass seller like you can't even like I can't even t stop talking about that enough because I shoot at shallow depth of fields a lot and stuff like that I don't like shooting at high um, f-stops, you know, I don't like a lot of stuff inside focus I like to really have that somatic somatic look and that creative look and stuff like that Also shout out to my son my twin in Kansas. He's still out there in Kansas about to come back uh, Home pretty soon. So shout out to him I can't wait to start our snack time videos again a lot of our videos got a lot of views some don't got a lot of views But some do I need to be cooked a little bit more Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, <my> leg! Damn! <laughs> 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 damn hot lava right there, boy! Dang! Shout out to other people out there, other kids out there that's making snack time videos or food test videos and stuff like that. They've been commenting on our videos. We definitely appreciate that. And then also my mom's birthday was two days, uh, two days ago on the 2nd of August, um, three days before mine. Mine is tomorrow on the 5th, believe it or not. Our birthdays is only three days apart. So happy belated birthday to her. Me and her gonna have a little celebration on my birthday for both our birthdays and also for other Leos out there that I know of. It's gonna also come out and, you know, enjoy the festivities and just enjoy just celebrating our birthdays together and stuff like that. So what I plan on doing is, uh, what I planned was to uh, throw a barbecue party at the beach and stuff like that, which I'm still doing. So I got to do, get a lot, I got a lot to do, blah, blah, blah. I got a lot to do today, which on top of edit this YouTube video, I'm trying to get it out by the end of today. Um, if I can, hopefully I can. Uh, today is August 4th, like I said, the day before my birthday. So, uh, and then also thank you ahead of time for anybody that left comments, birthday comments, and wishes down below. I appreciate it most definitely. Um, so, it's gonna be real fun. I'm celebrating this whole weekend. I got five days off my job, so this is my second day off, and I got three more days. Uh, my birthday lands on a Thursday, on Friday. I'm going out, having fun. Saturday, same thing, about to turn up with a couple old uh, co workers and people, you know, I used to. Uh, you know, have fun with back in the days and you know, COVID-19 hit and everybody got busy. So 
you know, it's cool. It's going to be cool to reconnect with a couple of folks and just go out and have fun, man. So definitely. And then also today, uh, like I said, I got a lot to do today. I'm getting a tattoo. So I got Leo going down on my arm right here and I'm getting a Leo sign wrapping around, wrapping around a tattoo. And then with the little flames, like a little bit of fl like a little flame on top of the Leo sign. So I got a little rough draft pictures. I'm going to pop up on this, uh, you know, update. So you guys can see a little rough drive I quickly drew out for the artist. Hopefully he hits me back. It was taking him a while to get back to me at times. I know it takes me a while sometimes. And then also today, like I said, get the stuff for the barbecue. Um, edit this YouTube video, get my tattoo. I got to also be here for the pl plumber to get here. My sink and bathroom sink is stopped up. You know, the main line. So they got to snake that. Um, it's a lot of stuff I got to do today, man. I'm going clothes shopping, getting a couple of shirts. You know to wear uh, at the club and stuff when we, when we go out and then also probably a shirt for my birthday um give my mom something else i already got her something already she wanted to wait to my birthday till we do our little celebration for me to give her her gift so i decided to go ahead since i'm going out today get her a little something else too and yeah it's gonna be it's a nice little full uh birthday eve uh i think i'm gonna make that a thing like you like that's officially a thing birthday eve like some things that you do on your eve of your birthday you know what i'm saying so and as you can see i'm inside the tank top you know it's hot and i got my fan and stuff off for the youth for the sake of the youtube video because i want to have no noise in the background so that's the reason why your boy look like i'm flexing on y'all but i'm not speaking of flexing i was work i worked out for about a good two and a half hours yesterday and i'm about to work out for another hour and a half today so that's another thing i gotta do work out again you know that's like and I do everything, leg workouts, arm workouts. I don't separate my days. I do everything all together, you know, not super, super heavy, you know, but at the same time, you know, I just try and do as much as I can. So yeah, man, your boy gotta, your boy gotta hop back up on that. You know what I'm saying? Hop back on that workout. So yeah, I've been enjoying my summer uh, as much as I can and every little aspect of it. I do wish I would have hit up uh, Six Flags a couple more times uh, before the summer ended to do a couple more vlogs and just to have fun. And I'm gonna start putting more, I'm gonna bring my vlogs back. You know, um, a lot of people like my commentary and like the way I talk about stuff and stuff like that. So the car vlogs I put on my Instagram, I'll be putting the extended versions like on my you know, YouTube channel and like just different stuff like that. Not everything, but just some things, you know, stuff that makes sense. That's going to pull in the views and get people engaged and want to watch, watch video after video and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, I can't wait. I do got a couple of uh, reviews coming up. I got some uh, shoe pickups. Another shoe pickups video coming up is actually in the middle of I'm in the middle of ed editing that. That's almost done. And um, what else? It's a couple other uh, <clears throat> oh, headphones. I got my gaming, my uh, Razer. Black Shark V2 Pro wireless gaming headsets uh, coming up, review coming up as well. So I still got to film the commentary of that. I've been using the headphones for about um, about two months, about a month and a half to two months. Um, so I still still doing it, doing the tests and everything. Even though there are good headphones, I still got to do my test and test them out for a while, and then give you guys the voiceover commentary, let you guys know how it is and stuff and what I think about them so far. So if you do happen to be local here in San Diego, California, and you want to come out and celebrate with your boy, come on out. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. Everyone's welcome when I have like stuff going on. It's just that the only thing I ask is I don't ask for no money. I don't ask for you to bring nothing. Just don't bring no drama that's it like just have fun that's all i want to do you know just turn up and have fun and just enjoy your time that's all that's all i ask other than that anybody can come i don't care who shows up so i'm trying to get this video up ahead of time because every time i do do a video talking about my birthdays all it always end up being afterwards like after my birthday and people will be like oh why you didn't make a video beforehand or why you didn't let us know ahead of time so i was supposed to actually drop this video film this video and drop it yesterday but i had you know some running around to do yesterday as well so and then also just like i did my fourth of july vlog and stuff like that i'll be doing a, a birthday vlog just like that so i got a lot of people coming to me and saying they like that vlog and like the way i did it and filmed it and stuff like that and like just the overall style and, and mood and flow of the vlog so um i'm gonna do another one of those for my birthday this year never did that before i did do one about five years ago for my birthday but it was like a my own for my own little personal uh use and my family and stuff like that and i did it wasn't it wasn't meant to be it wasn't filmed to be used to be posted or anything like that 
to put it like that so so that's gonna do it for this channel update for august 2021 give your boy a, a thumbs up and if you like the content you want to see more content different content from a person that's very diverse and multi-talented uh subscribe to your boy and for those of you that subscribe to both my channels my gaming channel as well the universal gamer um i do got a ch uh, gamers tube cast episode coming up i'm trying to get those back popular again when it comes to creating content on youtube and any type of social media platform you just got to keep on putting the videos out there you got to keep on pumping them out you know you're not going to get views sometimes there's videos where i filmed it like it was a legit commercial and stuff like that and at the time i wasn't getting that many views on my videos but when i did start getting more views on my videos those videos blew up for example my futon uh couch and lounger video like that's one of my most popular videos on this channel because the way I filmed it, my commentary, I filmed it on the green screen, my presentation, my flow, it's because I filmed it as if there's like, I got hundreds of thousands of subscribers and stuff like that. Um, like the way you film your stuff should not matter how many people is watching, you should always film it with the highest production value in your mind of exactly how you got it pictured in your mind, creativity, creative, cr creatively, you know? <laughs> I have to think about that for a second. And when I'm inside my creative zone, man, it's, I'm a whole nother person. Like it's it's crazy. Like I, mean, I got my creative side, my professional side. Everybody that work alongside me at work at Walmart and stuff, my manager position and stuff like that. The way I talk to, you know, to professionals and everything. Even when it comes to my photography, to photography and videography, I'm super professional. You know, damn, I'm stuttering right now. I'm trying to say super professional five times fast. Damn, but um, very professional, should I say? Um, so that's another side of me and then my fun goofy entertainment side that's another side so I got three sides you know and my fun side that's the side that really surprised people because people don't be realizing well except for the people that work alongside me I'm super energetic and goofy and stuff when I'm working too but at the same time professional and get shit done but my fun side like man like it's hard to even be mad and start anything with me because I'm just too happy for that you know even if somebody do something like it, it takes a lot for me to be mad at somebody or fight somebody or something happen with drama with me if I'm out having fun because that's all that's on my mind even when people is having drama I'll be breaking stuff up like come on man y'all out here about to ruin your whole night just just fighting and stuff brought, brought all these expensive drinks all these beautiful ladies out here and y'all want to fight each other the way she, and, and throw y'all whole night and all that money you spent to come out all that's going to go right down the drain and y'all is going to sober up sitting up there looking stupid shoot if you want to fight something you better look at one of these ladies out here and beat up that anyways that's going to do it for this channel update people once again thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys out there love all the feedback and come and uh support um so so let me go ahead and get off this video. I know I probably left a couple of things out, but if I did, I'll put inside my next channel update. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this, end this video now before I get mad at myself inside the editor while I'm editing this. Like, man, if you don't shut your ass up, that's why the video takes so damn long to edit, because you keep talking. <laughs> Sometimes you don't be feeling like, you know, doing intensive editing but then when you're talking about something inside the videos like damn now i gotta pop up an image about that damn now i gotta find a video clip to pop that in now damn now i gotta find that youtube video that i filmed to pop that in that i'm talking about you know so once again for the third time thanks for watching i'm about to go ahead and uh i think right after this i'm about to go ahead and just sh uh, go ahead and shave i still do that too you know your boy looking kind of rough and it's crazy because a lot of women like this rough look on me i don't understand it you know like i don't like i like it looks tacky to me, like, but every time I don't shave for a while, and I did this on purpose, cause I wanted to wait the day before my birthday, so it can be looking real crispy and stuff when I shave and edge up. Cause I cut my own hair, so, you know. But, um, yeah, women love this look on me for some reason. Like, I don't understand it. I be walking inside the store, I be thinking I look bummy and tacky and stuff like that. But women be looking, like, they be smiling and breaking their neck and follow me around i'm like y'all like the way this shit looks like i don't like it but then when i'm looking super smooth and freshed up and shaved and glasses on looking you know what i'm saying women act like some of them most of them be acting like they don't see me i'm like dang y'all like a rough looking crusty looking dude i can be that <laughs> all right people so i'm about to go ahead and finally get off this video enjoy my enjoy the rest of my birth, birthday eve if you have a birthday coming up man enjoy the eve of your birthday you know do something go to the movies you know have a couple of drinks do do something special on the eve of your birthday you know what i'm saying and then on your birthday it makes it makes everything flow good it makes it it sets up everything so your birthday don't just pop up out of nowhere like boom today's my birthday it's like it flows into your birthday you know what i'm saying see your boy i'll be i'll be telling you i'll be on a whole nother level with mine oh and one thing i forgot to mention i know people are gonna be wondering how old i'm turning I'm gonna leave that up for a discussion, you know. But your boy is something like an angel. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all that hint right there. I'm something like, I'm something like an angel. So 
don't let the looks fool you. You know, you may think I'm turning 20 something. Just put it like that, but I'm not. So yeah, people, I'm out. Peace. So damn hot. I'm, I don't got no damn pants on. For real. All right, and then tomorrow is my mom's birthday. I mean, not tomorrow. I'm stupid. Tomorrow's my birthday.